Hey guys, CT7567 here, and today I'm going to be covering what if Captain America had his own cinematic universe. I got this idea while re-watching some scenes from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I realized how much Captain America content there is other than, well, outside of the Avengers movies. So, this is phase one of the Captain America cinematic universe, it, well, if it existed, and this is how I think it would be. The first film of the first phase would just be titled Captain America. Not Captain America the First Avenger, just Captain America. Pretty much the same as the First Avenger, but I removed the First Avenger from the title since they sort of just used that as a promotional tool for the Avengers since this movie was released very shortly before the Avengers. So, pretty much the same movie. Not really anything changed. The second film in the franchise would be Agent Carter. In the MCU, it was a short film, it was one of those one-shot things, but in this universe, it would actually be a feature-length film, just like Captain America. And the story would be pretty much the same, just feature-length. The third film would be titled The Falcon, completely different than The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, really doesn't have the Winter Soldier or anything, and oh, Captain America. This is, would sort of just be like a feature-length film instead of a Disney Plus series, and it would uh, be the origin story of the Falcon. Just how Sam Wilson became the Falcon in the U.S. Air Force, but it would kind of have a cameo from Steve Rogers. He would appear in the post-credit scene as Captain America being unfrozen, like thawed out of the ice by Howard Stark and Nick Fury. The Falcon would also be there. The fourth film in the phase would be Black Widow. Fuck, oh, Rax! What the heck are you doing? Oh, oh, okay, I know, I know. Black Widow being the fourth movie in a Captain America cinematic universe. Keep in mind, it's the fourth movie, not the first one. Might be wondering why this would even be here. Her origin story. Yeah, I'd have Red Guardian, Yelena, all those people, but this would just be a her origin story. Okay, just had to get that out of the way. This happens before the Winter Soldier. Oh, alright. <laughs> Captain America, the Winter Soldier, pretty much as is, but this would be when Steve first meets, uh, be when he first meets Black Widow and reunites with Bucky. Of course, has the whole Winter Soldier story arc. But one thing I would change in this is that it would be resolved in the same movie it sort of just started in. Like, he would sort of just start being good. Like, he, like, uh, break the... He, they would break, like, the mind control of the Hydra doing on Bucky. I cannot speak English. Finally, the sixth movie of this franchise. Bang, Captain America, the first Avenger. Well, in this universe, just Captain America when Red Skull got beamed up. Well, he comes back in this one, and he's the main villain, and he's severely injured, so he's a bit of a cyborg. And basically just wants to take over the world, since this is kind of like the Avengers team up. In the universe that doesn't have the Avengers, just Cap, Bucky, Black Widow, and Falcon. So this is like the big culmination of the first phase, basically the Avengers. So they take down Red Skull, and Bucky officially becomes the White Wolf. And S Steve retires as Captain America and passes on the mantle to Sam. In the post credit scene, you will do something similar to Black Panther Wakanda Forever, where it turns out that Steve Rogers had a son that was frozen in ice, just like him. And, well, that will be explored more in Phase 2. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed this video. See you next time, and uh, I'm going to do two more phases for this. And then, while well, I'm just going to stop, but it was just an interesting idea what the world would be like if Captain America had his own cinematic universe.